I usually have never caught myself downloading rocks before, so when people hear that, they probably go, what? Downloading rocks. So I thought I would actually take a video of me. Um, I'm gonna download this beautiful rock, and this is a tech type, which is from outer space. And I, I set them out the last couple days to <clears throat> charge under the moon and the sun and then I just felt I needed to grab them and this feels masculine this feels feminine to me so I'm gonna put this in my feminine side and this in my masculine side and there's a little groove I don't know if you can see it there's a little groove right in there <clears throat> and when you're trying to I'm gonna come back here and do it I don't know what I'm gonna do I, don't, I never know what I'm gonna do so I just allow but it just feels feminine, this feels masculine to me. And, or grounding and, you know, this could be more grounding and this is more like, woo, celestial. So you can think of it that way too, because the feminine is more celestial and the masculine is more grounding. That's just the way it is. That's why when you come into union with yourself, you can get anything you want done. Because you have your divine masculine healed and your divine feminine healed and then you can do whatever you want you can co-create with god or co-create with the universal energies or co-create with yourself or whatever you want it's it's all a personal experience is all it is um god is nothing but energy god is not a man god is just energy and we are energy and we are connected to energy and therefore we're connected to god so when you connect to your higher self you're connecting to god and the more clearer your channel is, the more clearer your information is. I've talked to God for three years and nobody else, and have not gotten from information. I've not gotten a cent of information from anybody. Period. I don't research. I don't do anything. I just talk. A couple times I'll Google to see like what the heck, <laughs> like spiritual stigmata. Uh, Google don't know what that is. <laughs> oh, okay. So, and there's me. So, I thought I would catch this this morning i haven't even taken a shower yet so i apologize if i'm looking a little like you know <laughs> i just did my morning worship and i thought you know what i'm gonna catch myself downloading rocks so here we go i'm just gonna um get out of the way and allow and see what happens that's what i always do i never know what's gonna happen so do not think that i am acting i just get into a nice neutral position it's like it's like putting a car in neutral and just getting out of the way and just seeing where it goes that's what I'm doing. I have the ability to disengage my mind from my body and just allow. It's a talent that I had from being molested when I was young. I just, I, I was able to disengage. And so that ability has made me a really good horse trainer and a really good therapist and really good everything because I can disengage and separate myself, but yet bring myself together. That's what I've been doing is trying to bring myself back together after separating myself so many times. It's called fragmentation what you do when you have a um, traumatic experience. I've had several. So I've been doing a lot of soul fragmentations because, you know, from this lifetime, from past lifetimes, you've been traumatized so many times you can't even imagine. So here we go. Enough yabbers. Are you just going to find the groove? There's a certain groove. There's a certain feeling. It feels good on your hands. And I just got to find that groove. So I'm just going to allow. I get in frame and do this the best I can. I'm getting kind of like a nauseous feeling in my stomach, so I'm channeling a ton of energy right now. Woo! Ugh. My solar plexus is like, Bleh. so there's a burp. I'm just channeling a lot of energy. If you burp, it's a lot of energy. So all this, see, I can talk to you and separate my head and my body. It's just the weirdest thing. So I am just allowing, I can talk to you and explain to you what I'm actually doing and be completely coherent and allow my body to do whatever it wants to do. It's just a, a gift that I've had from being traumatized. <laughs> if I can close my eyes, I can find the uh, flow better. I call it the flow, the Tao, whatever you want to call it. Lao Tzu is one of my ascended masters that I work with that's been training me since birth. So getting in the flow of, or you could call it the Tao. That's why the stuff that I 
downloaded or had visions of and seen and been incorporating with everything is from ancient times. I can't channel and do this. Let me just... If I just close my eyes, it just goes way easier. And then I can just flow with it. I feel this is more of a healing of the masculine than it is a downward inner rocks right now. It was kind of like an energetic healing of a masculine. So since the, the rock felt more grounded and masculine to me, I put it in my masculine hand. And then the right hand, which is my feminine, felt like it was doing kind of, not Reiki, but it's a like a light language Reiki. It's an ancient language long time ago that they used to do for healing and stuff. It's, Reiki is a form of it. It's just Reiki is a watered down form of, because when you're talking from your soul, it's all personal. When you learn stuff from books, that's not personal. That's somebody else's personal experience. I'm just being locked here. It feels really good to hold this position. And so I'm just holding it because that's what I'm, that's what I'm supposed to do. I don't move until the, until the energy moves me. I can feel my left hand wanting to twitch. Feels like I'm, down, I'm feeling some energy through my sacral chakra with the uh, tectite. So I feel that the uh, tectite is integrating energy into my sacral chakra. That's what I feel like right now. And this is integrating energy into my solar plexus. So I'm getting a feminine and a masculine yeah. energy right now into my solar plexus. Okay, so I'm downloading energy or absorbing infusing energy from the crystals into my solar plexus and my sacral chakra. It usually takes about 45 seconds to download or in, in, integrate energies into your, into, um, your, ener your energy. Let me just relax here. I never know what we're doing. It's kind of like a whole body thing, I think. So I must be doing like a whole healing for the collective, I guess. I guess that's what we're doing. I never know what we're doing. So what I'm doing, what I'm feel, intuitively feeling is there's little things in the auric energy of the collective. It's kind of like darker energies that I am clearing out of the whole collective right now. So everybody should be starting to feel better within the next few days. Usually about three days, you'll start feeling better. That masculine hand was really tight to my solar plexus. Like, comfortable. It's like when I'm in this position right now, I'm just super, super comfortable. I have my eyes closed just in, this is what I call stigmatic trance. Or in the flow, I just feel a tantric energy through my body and it's holding me in this position right now and it feels so comfortable like I could just stay here all day long. This is what Lao Tzu, Buddha, and all of them were doing is this feeling the flow, feeling the energy and just allowing. And when the energy takes hold and moves the body, it moves the body. And then yoga and all these other versions of the original tantric energy is just a watered down version, is what I'm getting. I don't know, I just feel like I need to stand here. I guess I'm infusing energy right now. 
I usually don't ask. I just usually allow and then find out later. I feel my body getting ready to move a little bit. There it goes. I get a little bit of a stimulation. Like we would think like a, like an energy, like, like your leg twitch or something. And that's a stimulation from the energy. And when that energy stimulates, then it's like, okay, I guess we're going to do something else. I'm just trying to figure out where to put my hand. Where it's most comfortable. I'm trying to find the most comfortable place for my hand. I feel. So I'm just kind of like feeling around to where it's the most comfortable. And I just have my eyes closed because I don't like to look because then I overdo. I'm just trying to follow a feel right now. Okay. I guess that's a mudra. Control the audible like humming noises in my throat too. I just when I breathe it just goes into this humming. That is called the uh, nectar of life. When you catch the nectar of life in your throat, it's an uncontrollable audible sound that you can't help. If you try to force it, it's not catching the nectar. You have to. It has to come naturally. That's when you know you're in the flow in the bell. So now we're taking that mudra and we're going over we went over the heart chakra and now we're going over the solar plexus and what this does is infuses an energy of the mudra into the solar plexus and then it gains that solar plexus strength and infuses that energy so i don't know i've not been told yet what this mudra is for yet it takes usually about 14 seconds to start where you can feel the pulsating energy coming through the mudra into the solar plexus, I can actually feel that. And then it takes, it takes about 45 seconds once it's done and then it releases and then it goes to another one. So now we're doing sacral. Mm.
feet feel like they're on fire right now. There's just so much energy flowing through my body. My feet feel like they're just, I want to move my feet. They're just burning right now. You see my feet, they look purple. Wow, I don't know if I can even show you. This is just crazy. 